Hi guys, welcome to the Free Movement Sewing Channel. So if you know me already, my name is Andrea Fasina. If you don't know me, welcome, welcome, welcome to the channel. We talk all about sewing. Okay, so today I'm gonna do more of an alteration to a current pair of denim pants that I have but I can't wear. Because <laughs> it just doesn't fit through my thighs. So I am going to alter it to make it shorter and become denim short instead. Okay, let's go look at those denim pants. Also, can you check out my plant at the back? Doesn't it look so cute? Everyone thinks it's like a real plant, but it's really not. Look at the leaves. <laughs> so cute, right? I love my plants. So yes, welcome to my studio. Oh man, my mirrors are so dirty. I need to be cleaned, but yes, this is the look that I have on today with my free movement shirt and my pants. So we are gonna go over to the floor. <laughs> How professional. Yes, um, why are we doing it on the floor even though we have a table and we have all of our threads there because we am a dancer and I love the floor. So let's see what we have today. All right, so I've got this pair of denim pants um, for quite some time. And the fabric is actually really, really stretchy. Let me show you, Just stepping on it. <laughs> so this fabric, this denim fabric is actually really, really stretchy, but the leg area actually doesn't fit me. So, what I am going to do is, I got one of my favorite pants. So these ones I altered myself as well, a long time ago. And I did also cut it from leggings to short, so it was long pair leggings. And I really love the fit and the cut of this, so I'm going to do it exactly the same to this pair over here. Let me show you how it looks like, because I actually really like this color. So, as you can see, this is a very high-waisted pair of pants. But the problem is, the thigh area is so small, it cannot fit my entire thigh even with the stretchy fabric. So, what we're going to do is we are going to cut it. I've got my... I've got my scissors here. So, let's go ahead to put these high-waisted pants that I altered a long time ago right on top. So we're gonna match the crotch to the crotch because that's the most important thing. Okay, so this pair, this pair of pants has like pockets but the pockets are actually really short. They're only until here. So I'm not worried about cutting anything and I'm gonna match crotch to crotch. Okay, and then I'm going to snip off one side first. Okay, making sure this is all okay. And then I'm going to snip off one side, I'm going to fold it, and then I'm going to do it for the other side. Okay, so you can see I'm going to do a slanted angle because I'm going to follow exactly what I did for this. So, yep. Honestly, I can't really remember what I did for that, but this is what we're going to do. Okay, I'm uh, just gonna go for it. So this is like five minutes alteration. I'm gonna leave about an inch longer just cause the pants may fray, but yes, I'm gonna go for it. Ooh. Chun chun! All right, so ooh, looks very good. So we have one side done. So now I'm gonna fold it over and do exactly the same for the other side. So how you do that is I should fold it. I should fold it this way forward. Oh, seems like it folds better to the back though. Okay, let's fold it to the back. Okay. 
Oh, this does not fold nicely at all. Okay, anyway, I just want this part. Don't really care about the top. So if you're altering your own pants at home, denim is always a nice fabric to just cut. So I'm matching this side to this side, making sure that this fits. And let's cut. So you can definitely try this method at home. Just full of pins that you really like. Chung, chung, cha -da -dum. Just gonna snip, snip. Ugh. And snip. Okay, got that. Alright. Let's see how this looks. Hmm, looks a little bit long, but okay, let's try it on. Ching, 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 ching. Let's go try it on. All right, I have it on now, but, hmm, well, the top part looks good, so I'm okay with that. The bottom part is a little bit long, so I might just cut off a little bit more, or another way is I can just fold it up and top stitch it could be one way or I could fray it you know what yeah I think folding this up will look quite cute yeah I don't know what do you think I think it's okay it's kind of cute right it's really, really comfortable pair, so maybe we'll just fray the bottom of it. Hmm. I don't know. Or maybe just cut it shorter by like this much. Cut it shorter by this much. And then we don't have to do anything. Or just fold it this way and then just top stitch it. You know what? Let's fold it and top stitch this. So maybe fold it in by two inches. This much. Or just cut it. Maybe we'll just cut it then. Oh, yeah, okay. Let's just cut about this much away and let's see how it looks then. All right, so let's try. All right, so I am gonna do on one side first. So let's do this and we'll do the same for the other side. Okay, I don't know. Maybe I'll go about this much. Okay, I'm just gonna eyeball this. Okay, and then what do for the other side for the alterations to fit great is to flatten it, put this down, then let's cut. Alright. Okay, and now let's start to fray the bottom. And for that, we're gonna need to grab some tweezers. So let's go grab some tweezers. So I've got all of the red here. Just let me go grab a pair of, I don't know, tweezers. Maybe these ones will work. Maybe. Okay, ah, let's bring both. Maybe both will work. Okay! How are we doing this? So, I'm gonna just see 
if I can grab any out. But yes, let me just use the tweezers. So, I'm gonna use my hand first. And then let's see. Use the tweezers. Kind of start fraying it. Kind of cute. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna use my hands first. This way. Okay, one million years later, I have only managed to do this, but you know, you could do more if you want. I'm gonna leave it as this and I'm gonna do the other side. Same thing.
Okay, you know what? I think I'm gonna stop here. I'm tired. Ugh. Okay, let's go try this on. Okay, hey, look at how cute, yo. My gosh, okay, I decided to take my shirt out so you can see how this looks. But yes, look at these phrase. Oh, this fluff. Look at this phrase going on, love it. I could definitely frame more, but. Yes, this is my look. See how the back looks. Okay, this is cute. So, previously, the legs part couldn't have fit. Now it's like super comfy. This is not really high waisted. Like, if it's really high waisted, I would say it would be at the smallest part of the waist. But this is, um, it's higher than mid waist as well. So, okay, well, it's kind of sitting where it's. Wants to sit, but yes, this is how it looks. Cute. <laughs> Such a look. Hey. Alright, so I hope you have enjoyed watching how to do it yourself, uh, how to edit your own denim pants at home. And if you've liked it, don't forget to like and subscribe, okay? We have new video content coming out every single week. And I'll give you more tips and tricks. And by the way, if you really want to learn how to sew and make your own stretch fabrics, apparels and stuff like that, go and check out online courses because we have loads of online courses more coming up but we focus a lot on stretch fabrics, especially dance wear and active wear fabrics so if you want to learn that, go ahead, click in the description box below but I will definitely see you soon next week for more fun and more tips and tricks about sewing Okay, I'll see you very soon. Take care, stay safe. Until next time.